everyone, and thank you so much for being a part of the Christmas spirit and the Christmas parade right here in historic downtown Rome. Yes, indeed, it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. We've cooled off tonight, and it's a, it's a great December evening, great way to kick off the holiday season with the joys of Christmas. And for over 60 years, this has been a tradition right here in historic downtown Rome, the Christmas parade, of course, as the marching bands come in the floats, and then at the end of the parade is always special. And you know that it has been rung in right because Santa brings up the end. And at the Rome Christmas parade, there is only one Santa. And Mrs. Claus, who will be with us at the end of the parade tonight. And Lisa, this is going to be one of the longest parades we have had in years. We did lose a few because of the rain date, but I think it was less than half a dozen entries uh, that, that had to cancel for one reason or another. And of course, we're competing with a lot of other parades, but we know the best parade is the one that's going on right here in downtown Rome. And we're looking so much forward to it. Uh, approximately 125 or so entries. We've got some folks who haven't been with us for a lot of years who are back with us this year, and, and we're, we're just looking forward to it. The streets are packed as they always are. You know, uh, until last year, I had always questioned the 20,000 people at the Rome Christmas Parade. I mean, that's, that's one out of five people in Floyd County. Well, when, when you get to ride in it and you see how deep these crowds are, both on the broad street side and out in the median, they, there may well be 20,000 people out here. Well, and now, of course, we have the ability, too, to air this for you throughout the whole Christmas season, so there's no telling how many watchers we'll have, as well as we'll actually be on Facebook Live this evening as we also parade down Broad Street. But I tell you, we're going to be celebrating, as Doug said, he was our Grand Marshal last year. Very, very deserving. Well, and this you. year, our Grand Marshal. Mary Harden Thornton, whose name is essentially synonymous with Rome, Georgia. Uh, she, her, her fingerprints are, are all over the city and uh, we're looking forward to seeing her tonight. I, I, under, I understand she's gone, gone crazy with an outfit and, uh, and has got a primo car to be riding in. So we're looking forward to that. So that'll be a surprise for all of us. So we hope that you'll sit back, enjoy, go ahead and get you some eggnog or a nice cup of hot cocoa. And again, welcome to the joys of Christmas. Well, good evening. It's another lovely evening downtown Georgia's Rome. And another beautiful night for our Rome Christmas Parade. And that's exactly what we're going to be seeing tonight is our beautiful Christmas parade that happens in our downtown area. And of course, it's been going on for over 60 years. We're going to be your MC tonight, so we're excited that we can be here, share this joy with you and your family. And speaking of joy, the joys of Christmas is our theme this year. Really offers a wide variety of opportunities for float decoration and that sort of thing. So I'm Lisa Smith with the Office of Tourism. And I'm Doug Walker in the City PIO office. So we are so thrilled that you're here. So relax, enjoy, get a cup of eggnog or hot cocoa, and it's time to have a parade. You know, Doug, it's always exciting to see the blue lights because we know that that's when the start of the parade is. Indeed, as they uh, approach the intersection of Fifth and Broad right now, the uh, Rome High Air Force ROTC unit will be bringing the colors right behind the police and uh, that should be followed by the Coosa High School Band before our Grand Marshal this year. And of course, the Grand Marshal is going to be someone that a lot of people probably know. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's ever heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's going to be exciting, too, that you're going to get a chance to, to hear a little bit about Mary Harden Thornton and the fact that she was chosen this year. And, of course, our very own Doug Walker was the Grand Marshal last year. Well, it was a wonderful ride. It was uh, just something that you, you dream of, really, and, and seeing the, the smiles on the face of all of the children that line the route every year and the kids waving at you and hooping and hollering and, I think the one that I, that I will carry with me till the day I die was a young lady from Cave Spring, Addie Bell, who, whose mom was in my uh, youth group at my church, and uh, I've known her s since she was born, and boy, she, she saw me and started hooping and hollering like I was somebody. Oh, you are somebody. <laughs> 
Well, of course, you know, this would not be possible without a lot of help, and we want to go ahead and say, City of Rome, Water and Sewer really helped us out with getting our scaffolding so we could get this bird's eye view. And multi-craft construction, Dwayne Alford came in and helped there also. This, this is a great piece of work for us to do this parade on. So much easier to get in and out of. That is totally agreed. And of course, you know, we have the cameras up here and it's just gonna be fabulous. If you wanna see the parade again, of course, you can always tune in to Comcast uh, Channel 4 and also it's on Hulu as well. Hulu, and it'll be... I think, Roku, it's, it's yes. streaming on several of the streaming services. Yep. So Rome goes worldwide now. I think that's pretty, pretty deserving as pretty well. Pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of cool, it feels like Christmas tonight. It's it not does. as cold as we have been in years gone by, but it's a nice cool night. It was canceled Tuesday night. It, it was just so close and, and the rain and, you know, for the sake of about 20 miles. And of course it, it, it did rain during the parade, but the people at the back of the parade would have, would have been drowned. Exactly, it was a good call. And the parade committee, of course, they, they pride themselves in only having two meetings a year. And it's amazing they can pull all this off because this year it is the largest ever Christmas parade that has come down Broad yeah, Street. About 125 units, I think, will be the number that we'll see tonight before it's all said and done. And then, of course, there's our uh, Rome High Junior ROTC. That's one of the top ROTC units in the entire state of Georgia. Oh, that's fabulous. The other thing I think that's uh, always important is we actually have marching bands, and this will be Kusa High School Band coming up. After, of course, all of the cadets from the uh, ROTC, they're not just presenting the, the colors, they've got the entire core out here. marching band is the directors Wesley Walker and Caleb McDonald. Both are, this is their first year as their band directors. That's super. in the front seat with her. Yep. And our first float is going to be... Hot Shots Cheerleading. All right. Oh, my goodness, it's a full float. Everybody, of course... <laughs> Christmas, of course, are all the great movies. And coming up after our hot shots this year, Pusa Eagles, Pee Wee football, and cheerleaders. And we say that. <laughs> that's, that's according to the lineup list, but unless you've been down at lineup, you know every now and then that can be a little bit out of order. But these look like they are cheerleaders and Pee Wees. Yes, indeed. Oh, what a cute float. Very creative, very creative. So they are Merry practicing Christmas. Candyland. Our Knights of Columbus from St. Mary's Catholic Church are next. And 
there's the knight himself, and of course... <laughs> that's uh, the mascot at St. Mary's School. That's right. And there's the lady herself. I was about to say, where's, where's our great leader? Where's Miss Krista? Yeah, there's Krista. Merry Christmas! We'll see Krista again at the Cave Spring Christmas Parade a little bit later. <laughs> I'm sure. This is going to be the Eagles Junior Pee Wee from Coosa. And then we have one of our misses. This is little Miss Eagle. And that would be Carter Bell, little Miss Coosa. Alicia. She's a diner and catering. Oh, that's a good lady to get to know. Yeah. I love their matching aprons. Coming up next. Yep. <laughs> That's a good looking van. That's all Alicia's these, van. All these trikes. And their horns definitely work. <laughs> They make some great trikes out there way oh, out the Alabama Highway. Wow, those are really pretty. So this is Farmer Family and Friends. This is the Rome Floyd County Commission of Children and Youth. Oh, that's, that's a pretty one. LaDonna Collins and her many, many volunteers. <laughs> this one's going to be Farmer Family and Friends. All right. Oh, he's got a lot going on on that float. Tell you what, Lisa, Christmas is probably going to take on an entirely new meaning for me this year after having been to Bethlehem this summer and uh, visiting, touring around over there, being at the Church of the Nativity and going down into the cave where the baby Jesus was I theoretically imagine. born. That would have been so exciting. Piedmont or Decatur? New players in our community. Yes. Yep. They took over the old Redmond Urgent Care. This is Rhino Waste and Recycling. They got the right idea with that, that heater. Landmark restaurant. Landmark restaurant. <laughs> Good folks out on the Martha Berry Highway. I don't either. I don't either. But they need it. Our next group should be the Hodge Hodge. That's a great looking float. Yeah, it is. A lot of people put a lot of work in these really? boats, and that's another reason the decision was made to, to cancel Tuesday night. Take a chance on getting out here. If you remember how windy it was oh, Tuesday yes. night, even oh, before the rain. Frios. Oh, I didn't know they had a mobile unit. Frio, I didn't either. Frio's Pops. I get them out at the tennis center. I know. <laughs> and the... Uh, I hop. I hop is here, yeah. I do remember them being with us before. 
and the uh, sweet frog folks. I'm looking for. There they are. There the they are. Cookie. Yep. Let me tell you, Stuart Hornsby. Have you gotten to know Stuart? He is extremely nice. He is just nice. a fabulous, fabulous owner in our community. And who's the horse? Wow. Well, that ought to be that Miss little... Rome. Oh, I would bet that. Uh, They're tiny. Tiny Miss Rome. So, Jenna Reese Bannister, she was a wee Miss Coosa Valley Fair. And then here's Morgan Kennedy, our Miss Rome team, and Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Yes. Grace Restoration. Water, fire, and mold. They do it all. Followed by the Model High School Band, the Marching Blue Devils. Let's see if we have info on them. That's Tim Burton. Okay. at Myrtle Hill and of course that got rained out this year and we had to had to move over to Second Avenue Baptist Church so they weren't able to play this year. Aww. But we look forward to having them back in the future. <coughs> I don't know, let's see, this is going to be That's Miss, Miss Model, Model. Cardin Orr and Mr. Model Ross Edwards. I like that crown. Oh, wow, that looks beautiful. <laughs> These should be model junior peewee cheerleaders. <laughs> I think it's as fun for the people in the parade as it is for the people watching. And the truck drivers. <laughs> Not to be outdone. All right, float 22. This should be uh, Hardy Realty. That's, a, that's really beautiful. That looks great. Oh, that was the Grinch we saw walking around while ago. Shorter University College of Business. Nice. And the nursing school. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, they've got grit. They've got good grit. Maybe they're giving him some grit. I hope they're giving him a transfusion. I know, make him nice. Yeah. Boy, we have some dancing, dancing oh, little critters oh, out here. This looks like uh, Pokemon type creatures. So who are they? It's a pig and a chicken. Is this old timer barbecue? <laughs> I don't know, but I certainly do like the way that chicken struts. I wonder if that's Courtney inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, those are so cute. <laughs> this should oh, be pigs my do my fly. price. Oh, that looks fun. Well, that's oh, the old timer, flying, yeah. Flying piggies. We have a snow machine. This is Lewis Chemical Company. Oh, lovely. Oh, I love the snow. Now it feels like Christmas. We have snow. And we have a miss, little miss here. That's no. Josie Swafford. She was Miss Tarver, Miss Valley Fair. All right. <coughs> this is float S and W Septic and Portable. 
portable, portable services. Is that portable or potable? <laughs> portable. <laughs> All right. Hey, I think that may be their first time. So they're letting it, they're also playing the grist walls. That's pretty funny. Yeah. 29A? That should be uh, our friends at Reach for the Stars Daycare. Oh, with the radio flyer. Look like Miss Wendy's on there. Very nice. Oh, look at all the little beauties. <laughs> Barrel of Monkeys, that's always one of my favorite games. Big Dan's. Big Dan's car wash. Now, they're, needless, they're definitely newcomers. Yeah, needless to say, that they've got a shiny car. Hi. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's cool. They even have a mascot. That's awesome. And we have... That's Big Dan himself. Oh, 30C, we have Ellie Grayson Rosales, and she is Sunburst Queen and Petite Miss Cusa Coola Valley Fair. You know who Big Dan is, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> I, I thought you might. <laughs> oh... They look pretty as they're walking up to us here. Even got a dog decorated. I love it. The little dog with a necklace. Trying to pick up a number in the window of that float. Oh, they look awful festive. Oh, it's State Farm. State Farm Insurance. Oh, look at the puppy dog beagle. <laughs> Yay, the Grinch free zone. <laughs> oh, fun. And 28A is CAB's Autism and Behavior Specialist. Sounds like the rain's coming down here. That's a funny place. Oh, and you got another little miss. This, this seems like we have a lot of little misses this time. This is Little Miss Coosa Valley Fair, Jenna Ray Osmond. And a little pause, or a... That's right. That's a, that's a big old diesel truck coming this, hauling the next float. Mm -hmm. We just want to make sure that we thank, of course, Rome PD for keeping everybody safe this evening, and, and of course, our Sarah Hightower Regional Library for coming out and filming this every single year. You, you can just look at the crowd. I mean, that's, that is just absolutely phenomenal. And we're at the 500 block, so we're talking five blocks of this, and then it goes on up to Sonovus Bank, so that's, that's another two blocks of parade with, with this number of people. It's, it's just phenomenal. Well, I'm glad the weather is so wonderful for this evening. It's cool, but it needs to be. It, it, it's Christmas, first day of December. A December to remember. That's right. This is a big truck. Look like real life scouts, perhaps. These are our Cub, Cub Scouts. Uh oh. Don't want to. Cub, Cub Scout Scouts. Pack. Forgive me, guys. One Cub Scouts. Bobby Jones down there. Cub Scout Pack 113. Look at all the young'uns on this one. <laughs> the Oasis. Oh, it's a dance crew. Okay. The Oasis Pinks. <laughs> looks like looks like Santa Claus just got put back inside the car.
And away they go. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure who that is, but it's a hoot. Floyd County's finest. He's getting out again. <laughs> Uh-oh, we have an escaped Grinch. They look out. He's, ah. he's getting away. <laughs> Oh, that was cute. Some people just have too much fun. I know, I like that. That's a cute idea. Oh. Name that movie, Dad. Peanuts? <laughs> yeah, that's Paws. That's the Griswolds. Paws does a great service here for us in Floyd County, of course. They did the Christmas in the 80s thing. Oh, they've even got their other tr truck unit in. Yeah, we're, we're going to have a new Paul's director soon. I know. Uh, Jeff Mitchell recently submitted a resignation. The family's going to be moving, and we're going to miss Jeff an awful lot. He's, yes, we will. He's done a fabulous job. He was so, so easy to work with with the dog park, and we want to do the pop up dog parks. Yeah. He's so helpful. Looks like we got a jamming group coming here next. Uh -huh. to David Lance and his crew. <laughs> Come up with something different. I like it. That's the way of the cross place team. And this is Pruitt Health. Oh, and a puppy dog. Yeah. Oh, that car is really decorated. Got a few balloons on top of that oh, one, Oh, my it? gracious. How fun. Tapestry Health Care. Here comes another band, Rome Middle. Rome Middle School. The Rome Middle School band directors are Corey Newton and Ben Williams. Their drum major is Kaylee Gandy. The band is made up of 7th and 8th graders who are in the 2nd and 3rd years of band class. Well, they sound fantastic. Yeah, they do. That's one thing I always wish I'd done was learned how to play an instrument. I tried to do the banjo once, <laughs> but I was not ambidextrous. to the Rome Middle School. Could it be the College and the Technical Academy? Perhaps. I am not really sure. No, let's see. That said number 26, so that could be Cross Point City Church. Ah, the Cricket Wireless. I tell you, some people spend a lot of time on their floats. Yeah, they have. This one's got a lot going on. Well, these are the Rome River Dogs. Omega garage doors. 
I believe we've got a whole lot of new folks. I, I, I think that's so exciting. That's West End Elementary. West End Elementary, yeah. And they be have a clogging crew. That's How about that? fun. Yeah. And they have a great looking mascot. Maybe they can tell me the difference between clogging and buck dancing. I bet they could. Like the little wolf. Our new Atrium Health Floyd folks. <laughs> Neonatal unit. Wow, that's a new one. I haven't seen that I one. I don't believe I've seen that one on the streets either. Uh oh, that's beautiful. Oh, we have another miss. Another queen. This is Heidi Holder, and she is Miss Northwest Georgia Regional Fair. Young team. Okay. Good looking antique car. Uh huh. Forty two. The antique car is followed by. Uh, 42. Blooming Tees Boutiques. Merry Christmas. Here's Blooming Tees. That's also wow. Blooming Tees. They have three units. Yeah. Boy, that's gorgeous. That is really beautiful. A nice small business in downtown Cave Spring. Members, everybody shop our small businesses. Always. Oh, we've got an award winner on, the, on number 44. So, Network Day Service Center. They won an award. They got Jen, second. Jen, Jenny is extremely happy that Yay, she got second place. That's awesome. Congratulations. Flashing that trophy. Jenny Sheely, been the director there for a long time. The Network Day Service Center. <laughs> Oh, here's some other uh, other clients. There's Tom, Mr. Tom. <laughs> Our friends there's from Brookdale. Brookdale. Good way for them to get out and enjoy the homeowners' applications for Habitat for Humanity. That's a neat way to let folks know. Yeah. Talking about giving a hand up. This is unit 45. And uh, that's going to be Habitat for Humanity also, still. Perfect. Building better futures, for sure. Ooh, there's a little a bit big... of sweat equity in those homes. Oh, they got a, there's a lot of puppy dogs in this one. 46. Is Northwest Georgia Veterinary Clinic. That's yeah. a good reason for puppies. Oh, look, there's all kind of pets. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And they're being so good. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, awesome. Wow. That's followed by Eagle Wings Motorcycles. All right, two motorcycle groups in. Trikes seem to be the thing nowadays. Oh, we've got one two-wheeler in there. A couple, well, maybe just, just one. And then a little break. Another break. A little pause. It's so fun to hear the kids' laughter and they're just talking. Yeah. It really is. It's neat. And I just, I just can't get over looking down the street at the crowd again. I mean, it's just, just phenomenal. Well, we want to invite everybody to come to historic downtown Broad Street in Rome, Georgia, because we have a lot of new Christmas decorations this year. A lot. A lot, and it feels so welcoming. We've always felt magical with our fairy lights, but it's yeah. really beautiful. And, and the proceeds from the entry fees in the parade, mm -hmm. generally speaking, go back to, to more decorations for the next year. That's right. This is Dr. Nock and Kim are back in town. How about that? 
I remember him. And looks like we have Riverwood, another great way for folks to be able to enjoy the parade. Riverwood Retirement Living over on West 10th. I'll bet they've got some residents in there as well. Yeah, there's one waving. Well, that green bicycle can mean one thing. Regions Bank. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they've gotten a lot of mileage with that campaign. I love it. Boy, that's a big old bike this year. Yeah, yeah, goodness. So we have another. My goodness. I know, another big break. Long, <laughs> long pause. My goodness. Everybody's kind of standing out, moving out in the middle of the road to see what's up. It's not the end because Santa hasn't come Santa's through Santa's not here yet. So no. we're, we're only about maybe halfway, halfway through. Halfway, a little over halfway maybe. I can't tell if there's units walking in front. Doesn't appear to be. Just looks like. This looks like, well, yeah, there's a... Oh, yeah. it's okay. It's all of our people. <laughs> <laughs> I get to laugh because I love it. <laughs> That's tourism folks <laughs> and tourism. mascots around town. Oh, we, we felt like it. nothing says fun like a bunch of mascots. So they must have decided to bail out <laughs> and just love on some people. So we have got Crokey. We have got, of course, the Shorter College um, folks that are also with us, that are all the princesses from all the fairy tales. They're going to do doing a program in January. And there's Sparky with the fire department. Right. And Cappy, the she-wolf, which is the mascot for the History Center. It looks like there's a Chick-fil-A cow in there, too. We, we were able to get the Chick-fil-A cows. I mean, the more the merrier. Look at everybody. Just all the princesses are meeting everyone. And is that Willie the wolf back there, too, from that Rome High? Ca no, that would be oh, that's Cappy, Cappy. Okay. the she-wolf, the, the mascot. She -wolf. <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay. She's our, our mascot for the History Center. And, of course, the, the Roman Rose Trolley, which is available to be rented and drive within a 100-mile radius of Rome, Georgia. <laughs> so much for me saying I hope it's not us. <laughs> but we want to thank Mr. Lee for driving today. He's our trolley driver this evening. I also want to make sure that we thank um, all the mascots for being a part of this. And again, if you're interested in attending the fabulous tea on the Shorter College campus, we hope that you'll buy tickets. It's in January. It's very, very fun. And these are the cast members from that show. You just no, go on no. shorter.edu. Crokey is is the mascot at the Eco Center, right? It is, it is. And Crokey is very environmentally friendly. <laughs> <laughs> and Ben Winkleman is is walking with Crokey. I thought you were gonna tell me Ben was Crokey. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oh, look at all of our pretty princesses. So Frozen and several others will be doing, uh, will be part of that show. Yep, we got Chick-fil-A cows, Sparky. I see Sparky all over town. He, I know. Sparky's been in a lot of fifth grade classrooms. Yep, drop and roll. And there's the Roman Rose trolley. Hey, Sparky! <laughs> Here we have the History Center becoming a member today. Support our local History Center. We want to thank everybody who is, is a part of that. And of course, 
We see Linda Patty on board. There's the staff at the Hilton. everybody. Yes, indeed. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Good looking group. All right. Who's this green machine? Cox Byington and Twyman. Twyman. Wow, their, their float looks great. Oh, they got, a, they got an award. All right. Very nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, that looks great. The yeah, we have the spires. Oh, look at those big gifts on top of their van. That's awesome. We're lucky to have such great, um, great places for seniors to, to live. We really and, do have a lot of them. I tell you, that, that, that group out there, they are super, super, super involved. They attend lots of different wonderful things. Here comes the R. Murchie High School. Let's see. There's Suzuki. I don't think Suzuki's been with us in a couple of years. No, it's been a while. Our Murchie, this is all, all superior ratings in the category this year, Peach State. First place, drum major. First place, color guard. And third place, bam. Old South, third place. Drum major, second place. Color guard, third place. And percussion, third place. Well, that's great. Way to go, our Murchie. Scott Thompson's float. Oh, nice. Wonder if Scott will be up there jamming. <gasps> Looks like it. Yes, indeed. Uh, Christmas Back Home is coming up on the 9th and 10th at the auditorium. Come on, this tree. I Oh, Roman Fire Department with Mary Catherine shooting. Our wonderful fire marshal. Well, I like their blow up hydrant. That's cute. Yeah. Oh, look at the little like puppy Chief dog. Buck out there. Oh, yep, right in the yep. center. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's the bulldog black and red fire truck. And I asked Chief Brock if the Georgia Tech folks ever give him any trouble for those trucks. <laughs> Floyd County Farm Bureau coming in on a... Uh, John Deere. A deer. Nothing else like a deer. With a lady farmer. Love it. Lady farmers. Imagine that. <laughs> oh, here comes another truck. Uh -oh. oh, boy, that this old school. Wow. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> he looks like he's pushing it along. That's cute. He's also with Farm Bureau. Wow. That's a farm all. <laughs> Trying to push it along. <laughs> Great. And some more animals. Very nice. Good job. <laughs> wow, they had three units in with Farm Bureau. <laughs> <laughs> Are they dancing? <laughs> I like it. Merry Christmas! Froggy's, Froggy's Family Entertainment Center. Okay. That's who that last float was. The that's University a, of Georgia a... alumni. My goodness. Wow. That's a proud group. That's awesome. Hey. <laughs> oh, Jackson Abercrombie. Yeah. What's he doing on a University of Georgia float? <laughs> <laughs> He's not a bulldog. Uh, there's, well, excuse me, our Murchie Middle School. <laughs> oh, theirs is really lit up. Wow. They're bundled up. My goodness, they do have a lot of lights on that one. Uh -huh. Oh, I love the mascot on the back. It's here with a headdress. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, and another snow machine. Here we go. Shorter Avenue. Shorter Baptist Avenue Baptist Church. Church. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. She's getting a lot of snow on her. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's great. I like the snow machines. I think that's that added a lot of fun. Our Murchie High School. The Competition, competition cheerleaders. cheerleaders, yes. State champions. Wow. State champion competition cheerleaders. Oh, That's awesome. This is interesting. Right, Who's this group? Good question. 67. 67 would be Rock Creek four-wheel drive. All right. Snowman's ride. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that feels strange, being in a crooked truck yeah. driving it. I have not ever done that, but it, everybody says it's a lot of fun. The rock climbing? Yeah. Woodstock Furniture Outlet coming up here, coming by us. There's Angie and Tim. Yep. I believe he's got a warm beverage in there too. <laughs> Got another snow machine coming up. Whoa, yeah. Look at it, oh, it looks neat. Around the lights, I don't know. Oh uh -huh. yeah, the video can catch it. it looks like it's really snowing. Our Murchie Junior Football Pee Wees.
Yep, look at all those kids. <laughs> and we have some more. Who's this? I'm 65. That's, That's the more of our Archie, Archie Junior kids. Pee Wees. <laughs> That's nice adapting to the theme this year. Our tribe chooses joy. Yep. Sayo's like martial it. arts group. I believe that this is the, uh, this is still Sayo's martial arts yeah. folks. You can see all of them in their, in their, out, in their outfits. I they hope they got comfort zone underneath their, oh, me their too. karate outfits this they year. They have a big group. Pretty cool. Merry Christmas, the Renaissance Marquee folks will All be right. coming by. Oh, he looks like the conductor. Look, he's great. <laughs> Renaissance I Express, it. yes. Oh. I don't know what the conductor's name is in that movie. <laughs> oh, this has to be Pride More because there's a not too many other people would be walking a happy tooth down. Right. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. I love the dent the braces. Oh cute! Oh my yep. goodness, so cute! The gingerbread people, that is really a cute. Right. Very fun. Heather's, Heather's outdoor, outdoor power. Yeah, that's a good, that's a lot of work went into that one. Uh -huh. Wow. They're followed by the Copperheads travel baseball team. Oh, fun. Well, their outfits are Only nice. a baseball player would be out here in, in shorts. shorts. I like their, um, <laughs> their jerseys. Those yeah. are nice looking. what travel sports has become a big thing. It really is. And this is Pepper. And the Trinity Motor Car, Car Companies. Pepper Pee Wee Dragons. Are those our cheerleaders? I think they were. Woo, here we have the Southern Cruisers Riding Club. We have had a chance to host some of our rides in Rome. on the back. That's cool. Oh, and they have their tiger mascot. All <laughs> right. Making it happen. And it's Scouts of Georgia. That's 
the Water Scouts of Georgia. All right, Merry Christmas. That's awesome. All right, and this is Chandler Waters. Kellogg's. Oh, fun. Tony the Tiger on the back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they won an award. They won an award. All right. <laughs> I'm not sure they've been in the parade before. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. We have Advent help. Our good friends who took over the Redmond facility. Oh, they've got the family setting on there with their little ones. Wilkerson Road, Baptist Church. Another building seat on the back of the platform. Bundled up nicely. Uh -huh. That looks nice. Oh, look, with the manger scene. Well, these are the dirty birds. <laughs> yeah, they're Pee Wee football. <laughs> they may also get a spirit award on that. <laughs> Another Piedmont healthcare unit. I wonder if they just circled around and got back in the <laughs> room. This is the Rome Floyd Parks and Rec float. With Park, got Spark, Parky and Rex. There's Parky and Rex. They're mascots. They do an awful lot of good work in the community. Oh, boy, Provide lots right. of entertainment. And you know, if you're not familiar with all they do, you need to pick up one of their guides from the visitor centers or even yeah. at Parks and Rec. All of the programming they offer is just amazing. American Heritage Girls, Scouts. I don't know whether it's proper to say Scouts or not, but American <laughs> Heritage Girls followed by the, uh, well, that's another another Heritage Girls. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> There's a whole lot of Heritage Girls. Oh, sure we got another, another, another float full. USA. They always have a great looking float. Yeah. Got some trees on there this year. Oh my. Pepperell High School. The high school director is uh, Andrew Casey. He graduated from Pepperell in 15. Happy to be home. And the director assistant high school is Tim Lindley. And the color guard coordinator is Stacy Hess. The it's great to have that young of a band, a band director. Boy, and that's the truth. And they're, they're 
drum major is Juliana Jehosa Sandoval. That's another good looking band. I know. Band I like that. That's beautiful. They had an overall superior rating for band and percussion in the 49th Annual Peach State Marching Festival in Rome. They took second place overall for Class A. The old pepperoon fire truck. Oh, uh, how about that? Hey, Merry Christmas. There's Tim driving it. That's awesome. Of course, the Tim leads the restoration of Lindale. And they are looking for a permanent place for the star, which is exciting. And this is Bethany Wiggins, and she is Miss Pepple. Pepple. Here comes Complete Tree Service. And who did they have riding along with them? I bet they're Pee Wee Pepperell Dragons. I bet you're right. <laughs> and the coach. <laughs> Oh, and a big puppy dog. <laughs> Looks like Christian Quarles, Petite Miss Pepperell. Oh, this is a nice looking float. Oh, give it to the Braves. All right. Rome Braves. There go. Rome Braves. They look great. They had their mascots on. Yes. Oh, very good. Roxy, maybe. Roxy's blowing kisses. Merry Christmas. I tell you, they, they add so much to the spring and summer with their baseball. They sure do. I tell you what, it's uh, there's nothing quite like minor league baseball. The, the whole family can afford to go. That's right. You can afford to have a hot dog or a mm -hmm. slice of pizza. And, a... and there, then you can, you know, step it up a level and, and entertain clients there or family right. or have birthday parties. Well, this one is well decorated. Floyd Home Care. Very nice. Everybody's in the spirit, like their snow snowman outfits. <laughs> That's really cute for the snow outfits. Haven Equestrian Education Center. Right. Well, that's neat. And it's also, I think, another new one. I'm, I'm, Isn't it wonderful to have all these I'm new folks tell in you, here? I'm excited. I think that is great. <laughs> to me, it just also says so much about community. Yes. You know, pride yes. and. It's just, it's, it's a great advertisement, but it's more than that, you know? As Jerry Rucker says, it's also all about the kids. <laughs> I wonder if they have stick horses on the back. They do. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they're riding, riding on ponies. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a great looking float. And there's the mouse, the Northwest Exterminators. <laughs> Trust the mouse. Trust the mouse. <laughs> it's an exterminating company. <laughs> Here comes another puppy dog. Oh, 
oh, and here's the mouse. <laughs> I think he looks pretty trustworthy. He does, yeah. He's smiling. He, look, he looks like he's eating well. Uh-huh, he's got a little <laughs> belly going on. Probably a lot of cheese. They offer free inspections, that's good to know. Yeah. I like their twinkle lights on their truck. Canine Oasis. Here's another one. Oh, and yeah, Social yeah. Club. That's so fun. <laughs> Tell you what, when you get in this parade, you, you put your business, your your company, in front of upwards of 20,000 eyes. Absolutely. All the folks that are watching. Looks like we have a couple of uh, schnauzers also. A reminder of Schnauzer Fest yes. at Halloween. Oh, we got a buggy full of Schnauzers. We, we got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. And a few that are not exactly Schnauzers. <laughs> All sizes and, and, and oh, the, colors. The one that looks like it's a cross between a Welsh corgi and a German shepherd. I love the one with the, the snowman yeah. riding his back. There's quite a few doggies. And I believe, I believe our friend Hugh Tyner is down here on his boogie board. I uh, see, Wowzer. <laughs> Oh, that's the man I just saw while like, yeah, I was taking training. the puppies. That's cool. I mean, look how little those dogs are. They're mining so well. Yeah. Yep, there comes Wowzer. Wowzer's driving really fast. All right, Wowzer. Go, Wowzer. Another great event this year. Of course, they're planning to come back for Schnauzer Wing next year. And these look like some folks that are carrying some worn out puppies. <laughs> Just look at the kids watching the dogs on this. this. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. <laughs> I worry about these, these dogs around the units too though. Yeah. So this is Googe Tree Service, and they are busy at work. The $64,000 question is, has Stephen finished his downtown home? You know, <laughs> I think he has. Wow, that's a really impressive float. He's, he's built, he's, he's renovated a beautiful home in the, between the Rivers Historic District and really done it right. Wow, that, oh my gracious, he is standing on that limb. Wow. Oh, there, there they go. So that looks great. Oh, and, <laughs> Another one and up a tree. oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Now that's, that's been a ride up and down Broad Street. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of movement going on. KLT Promotions. Old fashioned professional wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> 
on another march of band. That'll be the Rome High Band, I believe. Dairy Queen, the new Dairy Queen. The DQ and the Mercury. Boy, they are going gangbusters. Uh, yeah, they there. are. That's a that's will be on their first. First time to be with us. The Rome High Band getting ready to go to the state semifinals in football. Very cool. But before the Rome High Band, you got the Dragons Pee Wees again. Uh -oh. like Richard Dixon. <laughs> That'll be Ag Pro John Deere. Ah, very nice. A new, new, another new business in our community. And here comes somebody that everybody recognizes. Is it time already? Oh my goodness, don't they look beautiful. Mr. and Mrs. Claus. with all of our parade oh, You know what's going to happen volunteers. next? Hey, thank you all for all that you did to make this. They did a magnificent job. The right Reverend Jerry yeah. Rucker. <laughs> and the chariots, Roman chariots with people Phyllis. on board. What a, what a crew. What a crew. All the chariots are all together coming up with the Rome PD. Thank you all so much for another great year, another great parade. <laughs> Doug, as you can hear from the cheering of the crowd, Santa has lit the Christmas tree. So that makes it official. This is the end of the parade. That's that's the night. We've had a great parade. We've had an awful lot of new folks this year, and that's wonderful to see. And let's just hope it grows again next year. Absolutely. So thank you all for being with us. We hope you enjoy watching this throughout the holiday season. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year from all of us to all of you. Be safe, have a wonderful holiday full of the joys of Christmas. <laughs>